all right guys so welcome to another video and we are talking about poco x3 pro and probably one of my favorite aosp roms it is a little sad to see that this is going to be the last update and that's the reason that is a special occasion right the rom is not going to have any more updates this is the final build so we're going to do a install and preview and uh, yeah that is the one plus port for you randomly remoting in front of the camera anyways oof gang issues aside let it reboot till then yeah we're going to install derp fest android 12 l's latest and last update today it's going to be a step by step process i'll use it for a day and i'm also going to give it a review and probably we will try gaming as well so before we get into the details there are two things that you need to take care of well if you haven't already please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this we've recently started our hindi channel called phone ops hindi the link is mentioned in the description go ahead and subscribe to us there if you like watching hindi videos now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is kalash let's get going Now, while this wonderful ROM Oxygen OS port decides to boot up, let me tell you the precautions that you need to take before flashing any custom ROM or this particular custom ROM in this case. What you need to ensure is you have more than 50% battery, right? You backed up all the information, including your internal storage, because we are going to wipe internal storage, and uh, you need to remove your MI account. You need to remove your Google account, face unlock, fingerprint unlock, all the security-related stuff. reboot the device once and then you should be good to go important things that you will need you will need the firmware file which is 12.0 based on your reason and uh, you will also need the rom file of course it includes g apps so you don't need g apps separately you do need a poco x3 pro with a unlocked boot loader and a twrp recovery installed now assuming that you've taken care of all of these things you need to boot into twrp for which you need to press and hold volume up and power and keep it pressed till the time you see the poco logo All right. Now we are in TWRP, and my files are on the pen drive as always. So we'll go to wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik data internal storage cache. Now, if you're not using a pen drive or flash drive, your files are on the internal storage. Don't wipe internal storage, but I'm okay to wipe it because my files are not on there. Okay. Now go to the main screen. Go to install. Select the OTG pen drive, and first flash the firmware. So YU 12.0.5. Add more zips, and you're going to look for Dub Fist final build. Swipe to confirm flash. Now this, of course, is a ROM with G apps, and we're flashing the firmware as well. It will take 45 seconds to a couple of minutes to be flashed, so please be patient while that happens. All right. Now, as you can see, the flashing is completed. So we'll go to the main screen. We'll go to wipe, format data, and type in yes. Now let's click on reboot system. Now the first boot, of course, will take anywhere between thirty seconds to a minute. So please be patient while that happens. All right, just like that, within forty-five seconds, we've booted to the home screen. I'm quickly going to skip through the setup part so that I can show you around the ROM. And uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see. It's very, very sad that a beautiful ROM like Derp Fest is getting discontinued, and uh, probably most of us know why it is getting discontinued. I would not like to get into the details, but uh, it would have been great to have the face around. I really like the way that in the setup menu itself, you do have uh, Material U or Monet UI doing their job. So yeah, let's wait for the setup to be skipped and let's have a look at this ROM. Right, just like that, we are on the home screen and this is the face we are talking about. Very very minimalistic Google Camera Go included by default, so that's a very good addition. I'm not signed into my Google account, so we don't have the Google feed over here. But let's quickly go to settings because, of course, this is not a review. This is an install and first look of this particular update. So we're not going to spend a lot of time over here. Android version is Android 12L, and as you can see, it does come with a May security patch. SE Linux status is enforcing. The kernel is the Kyrie Lite Kato kernel, and uh, it'll be interesting to see how it performs. Now, apart from this, you do have your dedicated dub space, which does allow you to do a ton of customization. And from the word get go, this ROM looks to be very, very promising, very, very smooth, and very, very fluid. Now, even if you go to the quick tiles over here, you will see that you have a ton of customizations in the quick tiles as well. So, all in all, Dub Fest is you know one of the Best ROMs that I've used on the Poco X3 Pro, and you can definitely go ahead and give it a try because this is worth 
and attempt on your Poco X3 Pro. It gives you very decent performance, very decent battery life. It's basically a good overall all-rounder custom ROM. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at Phone Ops. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.